Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate. A 26-year-old man is under arrest for his alleged involvement in the death of a 59-year-old man. The incident happened early this morning outside a hotel in Lambasa town. Police say the deceased was allegedly hit from behind, which caused him to fall, striking his head on the pavement. It's believed he was trying to avoid getting into a fight. An illegal gold shipment has been seized by local authorities. Fiji Revenue and Customs Chief Executive Chitoko Tikolevu confirms 26 gold bars were part of a consignment due for export. The bars were found by Customs on Monday afternoon and were being sent overseas by a Suva company, listed as something other than gold. With a total weight of 2.3 kgs, it's estimated to be worth a quarter of a million dollars based on current market price for gold. The first thing, it, is, uh, it was not declared as gold bars. It was something else being declared. Eh? And um, uh, our officers, uh, just through body language, they, they, just, they suspected uh, something, was, uh, something was wrong. So they actually did 100% uh, did, um, verification uh, inspection, and they found out that the gold, gold bars was uh, the actual item that was uh, to be exported, eh? and not uh, the items that was declared. Investigations are continuing. Airports Fiji Limited made a record profit of $12.5 million last year. The successful run meant the company was able to make a su substantial dividend payment to the government. Fusita Kote Wasawasa has more. The $1 million check was presented to Public Enterprise Minister Ayaz Sayyad Kayum today. We are embarking on some substantial capital investment projects. The balance of the funds will be uh, used for our capital development. This will save the company from borrowing funds. 1.6 million visitors passed through the Nandi airport last year, and AFL says they are gearing up for bigger numbers. There will be improvements to the passenger terminal and facilities to provide the best first and last impression of Fiji and our gateway. $63 million will also be pumped into Nosori Airport over the next three years. Suva, of course, is the capital of Fiji. Uh, there is uh, going to be uh, the Grand Pacific Hotel that's going to uh, open next year with the refurbishment. It's going to have a 600-seat convention center, which means that it needs to have access to a modern airport also. After the upgrade, Nosori will be able to cater for the Airbus A330, which seats 260 people. Other smaller airports like Lambasa and Savu Savu will also receive upgrades in this financial year. Vosita Kotewasmasa, FBC News.